All right, guys, welcome to Hanson Speed Shop. It's time for another one of our Forgotten Custom Series cars. This is a Racing Champions 1960 Chevy Impala, and this car was originally done uh, by myself around 15 years ago, and then I kind of restored it and repainted it um, for the second time uh, about three years ago. This hasn't been seen by anybody, so this is the first time anybody's really going to ever have seen this car besides myself. Um, this thing started out as kind of just a stock um, Chevy Impala from Racing Champions. Um, it had like a big blower sticking out of the hood, and uh, it was red with flames on it. And then I decided I was going to make an old stock car out of it because I, I always liked old like 50s, 60s and kind of 70s um, stock cars. So I re-radiused the front and rear um, wheel openings. This was like the second car that I had ever done that on. Um, and a lot of the stuff that I did on this car, you know, I was just kind of figuring this stuff out. This was, there was no YouTube at this time. There was no how to, so if you were going to get into customizing like 164 scale cars, you pretty much were on your own like 15 years ago. And I really didn't even know anybody else was doing it back then. I was just doing it because I wanted, I was bored and nobody was making what I wanted, so I just did it myself. So um, some of the stuff, you know, on here was not how I would do it now, but um, we re-radiused the uh the front and rear wheel openings, and then I had some like cheapy little um, stock car with these cool big wide um, wheels on it that I thought really looked like cool dirt track looking uh, wheels where they're sticking out of the fenders. Um, when I originally did this car, it was a dark blue, um, but I restored it a couple years ago. A friend of mine has his dad's old stock car. Um, which was which is like a 66 Ford, um, but it has the same kind of look on it, and I gave it the exact same paint scheme as his dad's car, um, the cherry red with a black roof, and then the number 99 on the roof and door. Um, I painted 427 on the hood because it's a Chevy, so we're, we're pretending it's got a big black Chevy in it. Painted the wheel, um, the rims white. Um, painted the front bumper and rear bumper left the headlights red because on a stock car you usually just put like a metal cap over where the headlights were um, same with the taillights um, detailed the bumper it's just running a windshield I cut all the other windows out of the car um, painted uh, the back seat like a <clears throat> flat aluminum to look like there's no back seat and then the front seats just painted like a satin black um, just real simple interior on this thing um, just to make it look like an old race car here's a look at the passenger side of the car the thing sits really low and cool I got it to try to sit as low as I could got the wheels sticking out like I wanted to cut the body how I wanted to it really looked like a good uh, good looking stock car um, it was just laying around falling apart so I, I decided I wanted to redo this thing a couple years ago um, there was a hole in the hood um, where the uh, blower used to be like sticking through and I filled that in with like a, a I think a screw and then filled over to look kind of like maybe an air cleaner or something sticking out of the hood um, taking a look underneath the car really super awesome detailing from racing champions I had to cut into um, into the chassis a little bit to get some room for these big tires to fit otherwise I basically just kind of detailed out everything and either flat aluminum detailed out the frame and like a gloss black um, didn't really do a whole lot underneath other than some detailing and then clearancing for the tires um, <clears throat> but that is basically it for this car I hope you guys dig it there's going to be more of these um, forgotten customs coming from from Hanson Speed Shop because I've got a lot of cars that I built over the years that have never been on YouTube I think I might also do some 
um, new videos on cars that I like on my early Hot Wheels videos. Um, those kind of have gotten forgotten about also. So maybe we'll do some more updated videos on some older customs that I've done. Uh, but there's definitely going to be more of these Forgotten Customs videos coming. I um, hope you guys dig it. Give it a thumbs up. Share the video. Comment below. Hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, stick around for a couple pictures of the car. Get out working on your own projects. Get those hands dirty and greasy. Stay cool, and we'll catch you cats on the next one. Thanks for watching.